In this video, I want to make a sort of autonomous driving LEGO vehicle and I'm mostly inspired by these really cool like transportation robots that Amazon uses in their just distribution centers. And so yeah, I want to kind of recreate one of those in Legos. For this project, I think I'm going to be using Lego Technic just because it's extremely strong. It doesn't look that bad. And yeah, mostly because it's just super strong and structurally sound. And it's also the easiest form of Lego that you can motorize. The structure that I'll be using is actually this, which is like a half complete version of the bottom of the big Lego Technic all-terrain crane Lego set. And so I just built the bottom. As you can see, it's not fully done, but I think I'm gonna modify this to fit my needs. For the electronics, I think I'm gonna be using the Lego Mindstorms EV3 set because although it doesn't have the most motors, I only have three, two large ones and a small one, but it does have a lot of sensors and it's relatively easy to program using an online website called Scratch. I'm guessing this build will have lots of potatoes. I'm gonna take out this eight cylinder engine because as you can see, when you turn this, the wheels actually turn. And so I'm gonna replace this with one of these large motors and I'm gonna connect that up using where these gears connect right there so that it can drive. Now I have replaced the engine with this nice large Lego Mindstorms motor and it just sits in there like this as you can see and then I just attached it using this axle gearing it up a little bit so that it can move faster and so now when I move it as you can hear it's hooked up to the motor. Here is the steering motor so it's right next to the driving motor except it's just on the side here and it sticks up more than I wanted it to but that is so that the wheels can turn underneath it and it all just works pretty nicely because previously you turn this axle right here and this is what would steer the vehicle. But instead I decided to attach a gear right here as you can see and it just attaches like this. And then I added a gear on top of that with a worm gear right here. And so the motor turns the worm gear giving it a lot of strength when turning. So it's really hard to strip the motor and stuff when you're turning the wheels on your own. As you can see, I have added a color sensor right here on the front facing down so it's like right above the ground. And we also got a distance sensor on the front for collision detection. I've also added a bunch of paneling over the front two wheels so far, as well as I added the main power brick on its side, as you can see over here on the side. So it's just right here mounted on pretty sturdy. And then also another motor, and this is what will turn this entire huge bearing. This is what I ended up with. Unfortunately, I'm currently not able to program it yet, but I'll be sure to make a video if I do get time to program it. This is what we got to in this video. It's looking pretty good. We pretty much built up the body, I'd say. We got this part motorized to turn either way, side to side. We also got the driving motorized as well as the steering motorized. And so I'd say that's a big plus, as well as since it's the all-terrain crane, we could technically also, if we wanted to, flip some switches underneath it. There's one right here and there's another one way down there. But if you flip those switches around, then this motor, instead of turning this, can also move these up and down and there's four jacks all around it. And so then it could prop itself up too and we could also program that. As well as it has a distance sensor and color sensor so it could follow a line and stop if someone steps in front of it. But yeah, I think it's turned out really well. And I really like the way the body paneling is looking right now. I mean, this thing is just absolutely huge. And here is a minifig compared to the entire build, including the massive tires. The tires alone are like as tall as three minifigs, as you can see. So yeah, it's definitely pretty big. And let me know what you thought about this custom creation in the comments section below.